Welcome to uh, another short film produced by Electro Electronics from the uh, Electro Electronics Laboratory, actually. For this uh, film, I'm going to introduce you to the Formula Flow Code buggy, which uh, was described in the uh, latest summer issue of Electro Electronics magazine, um, somewhere towards the back of the magazine, the final few pages. So if you want technical detail, on this thing we'll be discussing, please have a look at the relevant um, article. Uh, fl formula flow code buggy um, is intended for schools, education, students, young people to get acquainted with microcontrollers in general, as well as robotics, which seems to be a very attractive combination. Um, the Formula Flow Code Buggy is supplied as a kit. As you can see, I've got the components in front of me. I'll be discussing them one by one a bit later. Flow Code uh, Buggy comes out of a box, quite literally, if you like. Um, it's a cardboard box which contains this package, which this one's still unopened. Um, if you look at the components, um, the first thing you notice is the chassis. Uh, blue molded, has two motors and incorporated, very nice, two battery holders. Next component is the controller board, my personal favorite, must say, of the components. USB connection, serial connection, very powerful PIC microcontroller board, several sensors, actuated drivers, all incorporated. Sensor board is attached, as you can see, so no soldering involved. Uh, next come a few uh, minor components, two wheels, two rubber tires for the wheels, software on CD-ROM, Floco 3, a uh, bag with um, a couple of small screws you'll be needing, batteries, got four, not included in the package by the way. Um, quite importantly the uh, user manuals uh, for Formula Flow Code Buggy itself and eBlocks, very nicely produced. And the final item I'll be needing is my own screwdriver. Next step is to connect the controller board to the uh, chassis. The chassis um, contains the battery, so that's the power source. Uh, you need to connect the uh, power lead to the uh, reverse side of the controller board it can only be connected in one way like uh, this as a polarized connector fortunately next uh, thing to do is to connect up the controller board to the chassis which is done by a uh, way of two wires for the motors it's connected like uh, like this using small pin connectors For each uh, motor, you have to watch the uh, polarity. The red wire indicates the positive supply. Next uh, thing to do is uh, secure the sensor board, a little sensor board, to the chassis. That's done using uh, two small screws and uh, nuts. Fairly tricky. I must admit, I have to use my screwdriver like this. So secure that to the front of the flow code buggy. Holes are provided. As you can see. So not too much of a problem, as they say in engineering. Okay, that does the trick. Next up are um, the screws, very, very tiny self-tapping screws. As you can see here, to fix the controller board to the chassis. There's a special trick to do that. Um, if you teach yourself to first turn the screw left and listen for a ticking sound, and then turn right, like this. Turn left first, 
you hear a tick sound and turn right. That avoids re-threading of the molded part, which can cause damage. Do it like this, turn left, wait for the sound and turn right. That's the way to, the proper way, the recommended way, if you like, to secure this kind of self-tapping screw. Okay, that's assembling the chassis to the controller board. Okay, the next uh, thing to do is fit the wheels. We've got uh, the two wheels here and, uh, of course, the tyres. Uh, we recommend fitting the wheels last and not uh, as the first step as opposed to what's uh, said in the manual flow code buggy. You can fit the tyres easily onto the wheels. It's a perfect uh, fit. But you have to push the wheels carefully onto the axles. No real force uh, required. And the other wheel. Same method, really. Wish changing tyres was that easy on my car. And push that onto the axle as well, carefully. Right, finally, uh, fit batteries into the two compartments. Bits go off like this. If you watch, the uh, battery polarity is printed on the chassis in very fine print, actually. So you have to look very carefully there. Not to make uh, mistakes against battery polarity. First two batteries. Close the lid again. Mm. Watch the polarity again here. Goes like this. Close it all up, and your flow code buggy should look something like this. That's about as much as I'm able to tell about um, assembling Formula Flow Code buggy. Very simple matter indeed, as you have seen. Uh, it should take you less than 10 minutes, I think. Uh, next time, in our next video, I'll hopefully be showing you how Formula Flow Code uh, travels around a maze and finds its way to the exit, hopefully, and um, also how it gets programmed using the connectors and the software, of course. So, see you around next time.